Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Talalipop and unfortunately this isn't going to be a trail riding video since I'm currently out of town and away from my bike for about another week, but as soon as I'm back home I'll ride some more trails and show you guys how well my Marlin 5 handles those. But while we wait for those videos I thought I'd do a comparison on the differences between the 2020 Trek Marlin 4 and the 2020 Trek Marlin 5, which is my bike. Since when I was shopping for mine I was a bit confused on what upgraded from the Marlin 4 model and if it's worth getting a Marlin 5 over a Marlin 4. I haven't seen too many videos on this either so I figured it might help some people out. And I'll probably put all of these differences in a table at the end of the video so it's easier to read. But before we get into the comparison, it should be noted that while other bikes in the Marlin family offer a women's version of the same bike as well, the Marlin 4 does not do this. However, the only thing that does change between the women's and men's bikes is the color of the frame and the type of seat, so it may not be that crucial. Another important fact to know is that the 2020 Marlin 4 is actually a different bike in the United States than it is internationally. If you look on the US Trek website, you'll see a bike that looks pretty similar to the Marlin 5 at first glance, but with a different color scheme. However, if you look at the International Trek website, you'll see that this bike is actually quite different, and even has a different frame. As a result, I'm going to be highlighting the differences between the two Marlin 4 options available, and then comparing both of those to the Marlin 5. Starting with the color, the US Trek Marlin 4 comes in magenta, which has black accents, and matte anthracite, which is an interesting color name and has red accents. The international version has these same two color options, but adds matte quicksilver, which has blue accents, and then green light, which has black accents. The men's Marlin 5 for 2020, including international colors, comes in volt green, which has black accents, teal, which also has black accents, matte trek black with white accents, and matte royale with blue accents. The women's Marlin 5 comes in crystal white with turquoise accents, purple flip with gray accents, and matte trek black, which has pink accents. Now onto the main differences. The first is the price, as the US Marlin 4 comes in at around $490 before tax, while the Marlin 5 is priced at $550. The international Marlin 4 has slightly varying prices, but I've generally seen it at around $400. Next we have weight, since the medium frame US Marlin 4 weighs 14.5 kilograms or 31.97 pounds, while the international version weighs 14.1 kilograms or 31.08 pounds, which is actually almost a full pound difference in weight, so it's clear that these bikes are actually different and have different components that make the bike weigh more or less. However, the Trek Marlin 5 does weigh more than both of these at 14.59 kilograms or 32.17 pounds. The first of those components to take into account is the frame. The US frame is actually the same silver alpha aluminum frame in the Marlin 5, 6, and 7, which means that it does have a curved design in the extra small and small versions of the bike, and straighter design in the other sizes. This also means that it has internal cable routing. The international Marlin 4, on the other hand, has the same style of frame for all sizes, and does not have internal cable routing in any of them though it is still Trek Silver Alpha Aluminum style. This just makes the bike simpler and easier to work on, but doesn't look as clean. The next component is the suspension fork. The US Marlin 4 has the same fork as the Marlin 5, which is an SR Sun Tour XCE 28 coil fork with 100mm of travel. The international version has an SR Sun Tour M-3030, which has 75mm of travel. The fork on the US version is definitely better for trail riding since it will last longer and provide better dampening if that is what you intend to use this bike for. But if it is going to be used as just a commuter bike, either option is fine. In terms of the drivetrain, the 2020 Marlin 5 and the International Marlin 4 have sealed bottom brackets while the US Marlin 4 has a threaded one. There are countless debates on which one of these is better, but generally threaded brackets creak less often and can be serviced more easily with simpler tools, while sealed brackets have less parts and thus add less weight. It's worth noting that the 2021 version of the Marlin 5 has a threaded bracket as well. Additionally, the Marlin 4 models use Shimano 14 to 28 tooth 7 speed cassettes, while the Marlin 5 uses the Shimano HG200, which is a 12 to 32 tooth uh, 7 speed cassette. 
This allows the Marlin 5 to pedal faster and more efficiently, and though the number difference in teeth might seem small, it does translate to a bigger difference when you're actually riding the bike. Basically, less teeth on the smallest gear or cog in the cassette translates to faster pedaling in flat or downhill areas, while more teeth on the largest cog translates to easier pedaling while going uphill. Thus, the Marlin 5 should have more efficient pedaling. The International Marlin 4 also comes with some cheaper pedals, though that difference shouldn't be that noticeable either since all these bikes come with basic nylon pedals. The Marlin 5 and US Marlin 4 share the same seat, seat post, and grips, while the International Marlin 4 has slightly cheaper versions of these, but once again that is just to keep the cost down and I personally don't think that the difference would be too extreme, and if it is these components are cheaper to exchange on your bike than something like the frame, so you can totally do that for sure. However, the main difference between the Marlin 5 and both the Marlin 4 models is that the Marlin 4s use the same Tektro mechanical disc brakes, while the Marlin 5 uses Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. Hydraulic disc brakes generally help stop you much faster than mechanical disc brakes since they are more efficient, and they also require less maintenance after being set up. Now since I listed off a lot of different components and differences that may be confusing, I put them all in this table to help you guys better make your decision on which bike is right for you, and as you can see there really isn't that big of a difference between the US Marlin 4 and Marlin 5. The price difference is only $60, so the main things that you would have to consider are basically which color you want, if you want mechanical or hydraulic disc brakes, and which cassette you want. The International Marlin 4 is cheaper than both, but you can definitely see that costs were cut from a lot of the components mentioned in order to get it down to that lower price. If you're looking to ride trails often, I would recommend the US Marlin 4 or 5 since they are much better equipped to handle off-road terrain. But in the end, I'll leave the decision to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to, and of course comment if you have any questions or suggestions for me. But besides that, thank you so much for watching, and keep biking!